Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm a real estate agent, author, and coach. But in no way, I'm a financial advisor. I'm the XRP agent, and welcome to the Digital Asset News. Hey everyone, this is the XRP agent, and yes, there's blood in the streets. I can tell you, hey, be calm, stay true to your investment, but who am I? I'm just a YouTuber just giving you my opinion. As of right now, Bitcoin is at $7,903, Ethereum's at $205, and the digital asset of the future, XRP, is at 20 cents. And you're like, oh, Lord, what's the world coming to? Well, let me show you a few quotes from the powers that be that been through several bears and bull markets. And they know what they're talking about. Let's take Warren Buffett. I'll tell you how to become rich. Close the doors. Be fearful when others are greedy. Be greedy when others are fearful. Warren Buffett. Buy when there is blood in the streets. Even if the blood is your own. Baron Rothschild. The safe time to invest is when there's blood in the streets. Mark Mobius. Now you see, we have a lot of red going on. But Mark Mobius, you might know of uh, Mark Mobius. Uh, he was um, one of the forum members for the World Global bank he wrote several books on investing the little book of emerging markets invest for gold debt markets risk management just to name a few but this is a video of him on bloomberg talking about the economy now this was um back in 2019 but he's talking about stocks bitcoin and a few other things about the um a little bit of quantitative easing i'm not going to show you the whole thing but just probably around about four minutes of it and you be the judge if you look at markets to me it feels like the big question right now is why are bonds and stocks both rallying at the same time and in fact if you take a look at this particular chart pull it up on the gtv function if you're a bloomberg client you can see that yields have been trending down just as uh, stocks have been trending up of course both of those things implying very different pictures for the global economy which side are you on are stocks right or are bonds right well, if I'm a new buyer, bonds are not the place to be with lower rates. If I'm holding bonds, that's great. Uh, but uh, I think the place to be would be in stocks. And by the way, gold. Uh, uh, just think about it. If you're not getting anything in the bank with these low rates, uh, it makes sense to have a little gold in your portfolio. Uh, and I believe that's, uh, that's happening. In addition to the fact that you have uh, Russians and other central bankers stocking up on gold. Again, I bring up the cryptocurrency issue because uh, with the kind of liquidity you're seeing out there, uh, people are going to be wondering, you know, what is currency? Where do I go? Uh, what's the place? And I believe stocks are the way to be because there you can see uh, the dividends and you can see the earnings of the company that would be adjusted to the uh, uh, inflation rate. 
Uh, Mark, I, I am literally like the horse that you can take me to the trough and I will drink from it. You've mentioned Bitcoin twice now, uh, so let's go there. Let's, yeah. let's go there. Um, is it a store of value? Can we break higher? Have you bought any recently? $11,847.77 this morning. Are you a buyer and why? I'm not a buyer, uh, but I realize that it is something we have to account for. Uh, the reason why I'm not a buyer is that I don't know what the real value is. Uh, and unless it's so widely held and accepted, uh, then that's a different story. Because let's face it, all currency is based on faith. Uh, and if you have faith in the dollar or faith in the renminbi or faith in the euro, whatever it is, uh, then you can use it. But uh, the problem with these cryptocurrencies is not that widely used except in a lot of illicit activity. As you know, a lot of the uh, drug transactions and things like that are taking place with cryptocurrencies. Uh, but look, uh, at the end of the day, there are many people who do believe in it. And if it continues and grows, then I would probably have to be a buyer and be involved in this. All right, uh, I'm going to avoid crypto and I'm going to go back to emerging markets. And Mark, you've alluded to this, but we have seen this massive buildup in negative yielding debt in developed markets. And that's forcing a lot of investors into higher yielding assets such as EM bonds. But of course, when you get a lot of investors pouring into those assets, you do have the potential for uh, bubbles or misvaluation. And you also have the potential for, uh, let's say, uh, fiscal overspending on the part of some EMs, is that something that you're concerned about at the moment? Yes, and no question about it. I'm very concerned about this. You see, this is the problem. I think the central banks around the world have been rather irresponsible in the way they've handled this whole situation. You know, they're looking at uh, inflation rates and they believe that that's the way they can decide on what to do with uh, the liquidity in the system. But let's face it, the inflation rates really don't tell you very much. Uh, productivity is increasing and uh, you're seeing uh, products being made now at half the price they were five years ago. Uh, so you're actually in a deflationary environment. And of course they're trying to create inflation by pumping more money into the system. And of course lower and lower rates means that you know the market is not really determining uh, what the rate should be. So we're really in a very, very confusing situation and this creates uh, possibilities for real crises. You heard it from uh, Mark. Now the central banks are storing more and more gold. Did you catch that? And how they're pumping money into the system just to, um, to prop up the economy, try to build up that inflation. But it, this is not sustainable. So we're going to be seeing um, a change. And, uh, and this was back last year. So um, Bitcoin was around by 11,000. So um, it, it, it right now is about. So right now it's 7,816. It's just crazy right now. So you have to understand that if these multimillionaires are talking about buying when it's low, selling when it's high, they might know a little something. Okay, to move on. The Ripple Wrestling Investor. <laughs> I like that. For the first time ever, XRP is in the top by volume on Bitstamp. It's accumulating slowly. It, it's moving forward. It, it's like the compound effect. Little by little, day by day, XRP and Ripple is transforming the world. So you just got to be patient. Next, we have from Don Rocky. Nothing comes closer to what she is talking about than XRP. And none is as far ahead as Ripple implementing XRP as a national bridge currency. 
They all know the need is there. That's why XRP is the golden opportunity. Let's see what she has to say. Let's start this from the beginning. Boom. Election. I think we need we need a, another Bretton Woods, or at least we need to be thinking in terms of a neutral reference point, a, a global unit of account. I mean, something like a gold standard, even um, updated to reflect a, a digital world and fast-moving financial flows. Or what? Election. A gold standard? I think we. Need Oh my God, this was just on CNN, Trump's financial advisor in 2016. We might need the gold standard. That's where we're headed, I believe, ladies and gentlemen. With that said, I'm going to let y'all go. In the meantime, I would like to hear what you guys think. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. Until next time, guys. This is the XRP Agent. Later.